So I think what's important for a young researcher starting their career in Canada, but with an interest uh, on the European Union, is to go over the first obstacle that is uh, the fact that it's a very complex uh, subject of study uh, and it might feel a bit more removed than other subjects of study. Uh, so rely on existing expertise. Sometimes this expertise can, depending on the university, can really be concentrated in the hands of uh, uh, two, three professors, so sometimes even just one. Uh, but beyond the immediate, there is, as I said, that the wider community uh, that is uh, kept together by XSC. Uh, at the same time, I think uh, this is something that really young researchers have to find out and can be helped by XSC and by the professors and researchers that belong to the network, is how many opportunities of studies, in fact, there are. Uh, and it might not be something obvious to, to a young researcher, uh, but in fact, there are prices for essays, there are opportunities to travel, there are internships, even if one does not hold uh, a passport of uh, a European Union member state. And there are many ways, in fact, to fund your studies, so sometimes even more so because you are uh, based in Canada and the European Union tries to reach out to people who are interested in European studies and give them the opportunity to do so. So sometimes there are even more opportunities. What is not always immediately obvious to the young researcher is where do I look? Uh, where do I start? What, uh, what's available to me? Uh, and uh, I think this is part of the, the mission of, of XSC and what we can offer. And I think it's also something that we share as uh, individual professors in individual universities that the you know opening up these doors and showing the student even if uh, he or she might be only one among all the colleagues who have an interest specifically on European Union studies uh, that there is a lot to find out. I have had several students who uh, have written dissertations on various topics, even uh, you know, very relevant, policy relevant topics, and have decided to look at the European angle of things. And they've been surprised by in fact, how much support and how much belonging they, they found in, in the communities of studies. Not, not necessarily more opportunity, but less competition yes. on the available opportunities. Yes. So those who are actually really interested, they might find that it's not, you know, because sometimes they think, oh my God, how am I going to get myself to yeah. Brussels yeah, to yeah, do yeah, yeah. things? Yeah, and, uh, but there are travel grants, and you can start even with those essays, mm -hmm. like uh, the, the Young Journalist Prize, or essays on the European Union, and, and then Kind of snowballs from there, there are opportunities to present at conferences. It's, uh, I think it's a it's nicer a community, frankly, like the, if you're studying, I don't know, EU-Canada relations, uh, US-Canada relations. Mm -hmm.